hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to we are going to unbox my new mini stereo together as you all know there are different types of stereo that is the, the most popular we use in the lab is the propeller stereo okay that this that is uh the regular stereo i mean i unboxed one a few weeks ago it's very common in the lab but sometime when you have to mix a uh, certain uh, ingredient together you don't always have to use a propeller stirrer. You can also use a magnetic stirrer. The benefit of a magnetic stirrer is that it's going to create a stronger vortex. Vortex is the best way to pre uh, prevent excess uh, oil and excess air buildup in your product. So that's the difference between a propeller stirrer and a magnetic stirrer. Uh, a magnetic stirrer operates with the function of a stera, steering bath okay so that's why we are going to unbox this and we're going to see how it works hopefully it works well this is the first time so uh, i ordered this separately look in the description box below for where to order your own stera bath a magnetic stera always operate with the with a with a stair bath okay so let's open it without wasting much of our time so here's the the adapter that comes with it. I saw this last week on Amazon. I think it might be interesting. Okay, so let's give it a try. Comes with a mini. It also comes with its own stereo bar, but because it only came with one, I ordered uh, a couple more. Okay, that's uh, this is separate. See in the description box below for the link on how to get any of this so this looks interesting to me because it has a digital display okay that's 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 quite interesting and let's give it a try to see how how it works so basically we have to just uh, plug this it does is at the back so we're going to plug that to that then we are going to now the only issue I have with this is that the the extension the adapter is too short so if you have to operate it like i am now it's way too short so i might have to go and get uh, an extension okay to extend this to the desk okay so the only uh, only issue i have with this is that the uh, the adapter is way too short, so you have to get yourself an extension if you want to use it, depending on where you are going to use it, okay? So let's see how this works, okay? It has a digital display, and uh, here is the stair, stair bar. Basically, how you operate the magnetic uh, stairizer, you have a stair bar, okay? You put your step bar inside. Put your step bar inside your your bowl, whatever you want to mix, okay? Then you create a vortex first, okay? You're going to have to create a vortex. That is how it works. So let's Let's see how this works. And it's a bit magnetic, just as the name is. It's a magnetic stair. Instruction in here. So we're going to increase the speed here. Okay. You turn it on. To put to to turn it on, you're going to push for two seconds. And you can see the stair bar starting. Okay. And you can increase the speed of the stair bar using this. I'm not sure if this is uh, this is defective, 
but this is not increasing the, the RPM. The speed is also the RPM. Right? So let's put water in there. So basically, a magnetic stirrer will create a vortex and mix your mixing job a little better. Okay. So the the important thing about this is the RPM. I don't know how this works, but it's just it's a look a little different for me to. To start it, you hold and press this. At the maximum RPM, I'm looking at right here is 250. That's wrong. I'm going to operate this off camera, and I'll get used to it a little bit more. Then I'm going to show you perhaps in another video on how to use this. So basically, this is these. Uh, magnetic stair so how do you use a magnetic stair let's say you want to blend your gum in water right so as it's running now you're going to put your gum in there so it should help you what it's doing right now is that it's creating a vortex let me move it closer what it's doing now is that it's creating a vortex inside that vortex is less air okay so it will not make air pop pump air into your product and it's going to create a stronger a stronger um, I need to just get used to this thing because doesn't just does not doesn't make sense I need to get used to it and I'll come back and show you how to operate this thing but for now to me this just looks like a toy <laughs> it looks like a toy but I'll come back and I'm going to show you how to properly open it. Basically, just put whatever you want to mix in there. If you want to blend your gum, put it in there and uh, continue blending. The stair bar is going to create a magnet at the bottom of your beaker or your container. So that magnet is going to be the one. And the force of the RPM, okay, is going to be what we create what we call a vortex. Is this vortex the vortex that I created is the mixing technology for all your mixing uh, work, right? Let's say you want to mix a gum, you want to mix your, uh, especially this is very, very useful when you want to mix uh, surfactant. You know, when you're mixing for surfactant, you have the tendency of pumping air into it. But this, because it's, it works with the vortex, vortex technology will not allow too much air because in the vortex, you are not the air circulation is not that it's minimal so you'll be able to get a better result without those uh, unnecessary hair bubbles that comes with mixing something like surfactant so it will not pump too much here and it's going to do a better job of mixing for you so i'll get i'll go over this to see how this works normally it should be up to 2000 rpm if it's not going up to 2000 rpm then this maybe it's defective for me so i will have to perhaps return it okay so thanks for joining me today